Yo guys, you want to learn how to make some really cool alerts just like these in Canva for free, completely custom? Then let's do it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric and I look forward to showing you guys how to knock out these really cool alerts in Canva for free. So let's go ahead and get to it. But guys, if you're not already, be sure to follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We make stuff just like this and through the month of January, we're playing some Fortnite. So if you want to come over and carry me to some wins, I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's go. And by the way, guys, if you're not already, be sure to follow me on YouTube. I make videos just like this every single week to help you guys build a bomb brand on a budget, knock out uh, some really cool stream designs and stuff like that without having to hire someone uh, and having you do it all by yourself. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna click create a design and I'm just going to be going with presentation size, which is 1920 by 1080, um, simply because I can resize everything in stream elements um, and then later in OBS. So I'm just gonna work at my full resolution um, and go from there. Now that we're in Canva, we have our blank template directly in front of us. I'm just gonna give this background a some sort of color I don't mind looking at for a few minutes. I'll go with this gray color. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new follower alert. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to elements and you wanna find um, find what you want. Now I've already decided I wanna go with a glitch. So I'm gonna type in sticker glitch, but depending on what you wanted here, you could go with um, sticker dinosaur. Let's see what, let's just see what comes up. And there we go. You have all of these dinosaurs that you could use. Some of these are not moving, you know, but, but either way you could throw it in there. As you can see, a lot of these are on the pro account. Um, so that's up to you. You can actually, if you want a pro account, you can uh, get a 30 days free pro account down in the description below. And my dog is here. Hello dog. Hillbilly's on Twitch. You've already met Ollie. Those of you on YouTube, this is your first time. This is Oliver. He is puppy heels. Okay, so if you're wanting to do dinosaurs, there are dinosaurs. If you want to do sticker confetti, I'm sure there's there's things on here. About anything you can think of, you're probably going to find some form of animation for it. Um, for me, I'm going with a glitch theme. Um, and so we're going to be using these, these black glitch uh, effects that we see here. Um, multiple reasons, but mainly there's a lot of them and they all kind of match and I really like the lightning bolt. Um, but you also have like this one, which I think is really cool. Um, so actually, let's use let's use that one in my original mock-up. I didn't, but let's use it anyway. Let's throw it down here just like this. And now we're going to throw some text on top of it. And I'm just going to click add a heading. And then this is going to say new. I want it to be all caps. Um, and now I'm going to give it a size of like, uh, we'll go with 144. That's pretty good. Um, now I want to actually change my font. And I'm just going to go with Barlow Condensed Bold. Um, I felt like this font looked pretty good. Um, whenever I added my effect to it. So I'm going to add an effect and it's going to be this glitch effect like this. I'm going to go with the, the blue and red and I'm just going to up my offset a little more so you can see it. And we'll up this size to about 200. All right, now I'm just going to alt drag. So that just makes a copy of it. Type this and go follower. There we go. And we'll drag this out so to fit the bit larger word. And we'll recenter it. And now we kind of have something just like that. Now from here, you could move this over here if you'd like. Um, you can kind of add whatever you'd like to it. That is completely up to you on that front. I'm going to make the word follower just a little bit smaller, though, I think. Maybe about 150. Um, okay, and once you have these selected, just center them up however you want it to look. Um, I think last time I went with something a little bit different, which I do think I preferred. So let me jump back and look. Yep. So rather than this guy, I'm actually am going to switch it out to what I originally used, which was the diamond. I like this because I, I was able to add a little bit of dimension by putting the word new in the back and kind of behind the diamond like this. And I just thought that looked kind of cool. But again, this is up to you creative. Uh, you got a creative license to do this however you would like. Um, so from here, now that we actually have our design, we're going to animate it. So as always, there are plenty of different animations you can do. You can have fade in, pan in, rise, tumble. Uh, you can have it scrapbook in. However you want it to come onto the screen, you can do that here. Um, but one thing you want to do is you actually want to make it a little bit smaller, especially if you're using one like scrapbook, um, because you don't want all of it cut off when it comes in. Um, so like if I were doing scrapbook, I need to be smaller. So now it comes in off the screen. You can see it. Remember, this is the exact size of your screen. So if you have it, let me select everything. If you have it out here where it's being cut off, it's going to be cut off in the animation, regardless of how small you make it. You can't make up those pixels. And so you may want to make it a little bit smaller if you're using something like scrapbook where it's going to come in from off the screen. Um, if it's coming in from the off screen, you want to make it about the size you're actually going to want it in OBS on your stream. Uh, me, I think for this design, using um, 
using neon look the best. Um, they look pretty good. And I'm actually gonna make it a little bit larger because for me, it's not coming in off the screen. I'm holding now Alt to uh, drag it just like that. And so now all I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go and give it my background color, um, which if you guys have seen my other videos, you know I love to use a green screen for this effect. You cannot export an MP4 with a transparent background. So rather than doing that, we're gonna do a green screen and then an OBS. Yeah, when it hurts your eyes, you know it's right. Um, in OBS, we will add a chroma key to it. I'll show you guys how to do that too at the end of the video. Uh, so now we're just gonna click duplicate and now we're starting all over. Now we're gonna do a subscriber alert, new subscriber. Now we're gonna change this out. Um, this is probably my favorite alert. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna grab these lightning bolts just like this. And I think just, oh, just the lightning just behind it looks good, but I'm actually gonna shrink it down just a little bit like, oh, don't wanna grab that one. We're gonna grab it just like that where it kind of goes behind. Now I'm gonna alt drag and make a copy. Now this copy is actually gonna be smaller. Um, and then I'm gonna flip it horizontal. Sort of like this. And you know, we may add just a third one and again, flip it horizontal um, back. And maybe this is a little bit smaller. Maybe we bring this one down. Anyway, just add a little bit of randomness. And now we'll select all of these, center them back in the screen, something like that. And now let's watch our neon again. And it just comes in at different intervals. I think that one looks really good. And we're just gonna keep this train rolling. We're gonna click next. Um, now this one will be for a raid. So if we get a raid, we want it to do something. And I think I set my size for this at about 250 since it's um, just one single word by itself. Um, now I'm gonna delete all of these. We're gonna find something else to use for our raid. And I think we used the little exclamation mark one. Yeah, that one right there, uh, we used for our raid. And so, there we go. That one's done. Okay, just like that. And I'm just gonna duplicate this one because the next one is gonna be the same text size. It's gonna be bits. Um, and on this one, we're going to go through and grab uh, like this little icon. I feel like this is reminiscent of Twitch bits. So I'm gonna make it, oh, I'm gonna grab the right one here. I'm gonna make it smaller. You guys see how quickly you can do this. I'm just gonna alt drag, make this one just a little bit smaller. Alt drag, put this one here. Almost have like a honeycomb effect. And there we go. And if you guys can see, we're gonna hit neon again. Uh, it looks really good as it comes in. Again, hit duplicate. Our next one would be, what, tips? Um, and so we need something reminiscent of a dollar sign. I think last time I just used I just used that, but actually I'm gonna use this this time, and I wanna actually do it like an up arrow, like, uh, like this. And so you do your tips like that. There we go. And, and there we go, and there we go. We have quickly made three, four, five alerts that will look great on our stream. If you guys wanna see how to implement them, we're gonna do it now. So here's what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and click download. Uh, do not do all pages. If you download all pages, it's gonna put it together in one single video, and that's not what we want to happen. Um, so you'd click MP4 and pick and download each individual page. So I'm gonna download page one and I'll show you guys how to set up. Actually, I'm gonna download page two and I'll show you how to set up the subscriber alert, okay? So I'm just gonna click download. And then while that's downloading, I'm gonna go and open up stream elements and I'm gonna go and create a whole new overlay. Um, you can do you can do it however you'd like. Okay, now that you have uh, stream elements, you just wanna create a blank overlay. Uh, my, my resolution is 1080, so I'm gonna keep that. And now you're going to hit the plus sign and go to alerts and create a new alert box. Um, now, for me, I'm only adding the subscriber for this tutorial, but you would go and click all of these. Um, and by the way, guys, I did mean to mention that these alerts that I just made will be available on my Discord. Okay, so now, now that you're here, we're going to go to our subscriber alert. We're gonna hit the little settings icon. We're gonna change video. Uh, you're gonna have to upload your new video, so I have it right here where I downloaded it. We're gonna submit it. And now we see that it's actually right there. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just, I'm gonna take that out. I only want it to be, say, the name of the person who subscribes. The alert duration is 10 seconds. Uh, that should be fine. And we'll go to our variation settings. I do not want a variation. My subscriber looks gonna be the same for everyone. Um, now we'll go to text settings. And this one, you, you grab whatever text, whatever matches yours. I'm gonna see if that same text that we used is actually here. Okay, it is good now, awesome. Barlow condensed. So let's see if Barlow condensed is here. It is, okay. Uh, it's a free font, so I kind of assumed it, it would be here as well. Um, and here in a second, we'll test it and we'll do more of these adjustments. 
Um, all right, so here we go. Let's emulate a subscriber event. And there we go. You see it's right there, but I actually want it to be a little bit larger and I want it to the text to be white. So let's uh, find our Barlow condensed here. It does say it's white. Uh, I want to turn off the text shadow. I don't really want that. I'm okay with it pulsing. I think that's fine. Now let's emulate it again. Okay, there we go. The pulse I had to turn off. That's what it was. Okay. So all right, now that it's, it's uh, lasting 10 seconds, it's a little bit long. So let me bring this and we're going to go to animation settings and the text animation. Let's watch it back and see when the text needs to come in. Um, I want the text to come in maybe. I'll have it bounce in. And we'll have it bounce out. And again, you can set these however you want them to be. But I want the text appearance delay to be, we'll try 0.7 and we'll have it disappear a little bit early, about two seconds. So let's, let's just try that. And you're just going to adjust these numbers however you want. I think Elizabeth came in pretty good. Now I do want to adjust where Elizabeth is. I need to center it up with our alert. It needs to come out a little bit earlier too. You likely won't have to do this. I would recommend when you make the design that you make it at 10 seconds. I think I made mine at six and that's where my issue is coming in at. That's perfect. I think that worked. Now I want to adjust the text again. We're gonna go over to advanced and I can kind of see where it's lined up here so I can go, I'm just gonna take that out and see what that does. A lot of times that 50 is what messes it up. Maybe the negative 50 I needed. It's, I want it on the left. That looked pretty good actually. We'll go about negative 60 and we'll call it good right there. Okay, from here, now that you have this done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click back out um, to your original layer, um, out to your layers. We can go to my alert box and I'm gonna go to position and I wanna center it up. Um, and I actually want to, I'm gonna make it full size because I'm gonna adjust the size in OBS. So I'm gonna go 1920 uh, by 1080, okay? And now I'm gonna recenter and now we'll see it's, it's gonna be larger. It won't take up the full screen, but there we go. Now I'm gonna adjust my font size to adjust it. And guys, when you're doing working it in stream notes, it's a lot of just adjustments. So you can kind of do these as needed. As you play around, you'll learn what everything does. So awesome. All right, now I'm going to save this. From here, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, URL. And now I'm going to bring over OBS, which is going to cause a little bit uh, of issues, but this is the only way I can let you see it. Uh, I'm sorry that it's it's like that. Um, all right, so here we're going to add a plus sign. We're going to add a new browser source. Uh, and I'm just going to type in YouTube alerts. Um, and from here, you're going to add in that, co that command that you just copied. I'm gonna go 1920 by 1080 because that is the size of my screen. I want it to be full screen and then I'll adjust it from there. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly play an alert and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, actually, I, I didn't even show you guys how to do the other part. Under YouTube alerts, you're gonna right click and go filters and hit plus and you wanna add in a chroma key. Now, this should be fine. I think that should chroma key everything out, but I'm gonna play the alert and we'll see what it looks like. And there it is, nice and chroma keyed out. And here you could adjust the sizing however you want it to be, center it up, whatever you want it to look like. Run a couple more alerts. We're gonna keep my sub train going. Um, and we'll run it again. All right, guys, and just like that, it is done. You made your own free custom alerts in Canva. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, do me a favor, especially if you implement these alerts, leave me a comment down below uh, in the YouTube comments and leave your Twitch stream. I'd love to come check out your stuff. I wanna see what you guys are making. Um, but if you do find this content helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm making videos just like this literally every single week to help you guys build a bomb brand on a straight up budget. Um, and if you want to come hang out with me over on Twitch, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'd love to see you guys over there. Oh, I'm going to be so behind. I had no idea where Misty was. I know where I landed. Guys, come on.